This is an Airbus A320. It has a weight of approximately 75 tons. Lifting such a heavy aircraft into the sky requires a significant amount of power, which is provided by the turbofan jet engines mounted under the wings. Turbofan engines are the predominant type of jet engines used to propel commercial aircraft. Let's take a closer look inside the engine to see how it works. A turbofan engine has a large ducted fan in front. As the fan blades rotate, the draw in ambient air and accelerate its flow. The high speed air then enters the engine and splits into two streams. The first stream, called bypass air, flows around the core engine through the bypass duct and exits at the back of the engine. The bypass air produces up to 80% of the thrust and also helps cool the core engine. The second stream passes through the core engine. Inside the core engine, the air enters the compressor which consists of a series of fan blades. As the fan blades spin, they compress the incoming air, significantly raising its pressure and temperature. This step is crucial because compressed air burns fuel more effectively. Following compression, the high pressure air enters the combustion chamber, where it is mixed with fuel. The mixture is ignited, creating high temperature and high pressure gases. The hot gases produced in the combustion chamber rapidly expand and flow through the turbine, causing it to spin. The turbine is connected to a compressor and a fan through a shaft. As the turbine spins, it drives the compressor and the fan, allowing the cycle to continue. The jet of hot exhaust gases exits the engine's nozzle at high speed. The expelled exhaust gases, along with cold bypass air, push back against the engine, generating thrust that propels the airline through the air. While the turbofan engines dominate commercial aviation, it is not the only type of jet engine. Although there are other types, they all work on the same basic principle. They take in air, add fuel, and burn the mixture. The resulting explosive exhaust gases produce jet propulsion just like a turbofan engine. Now let's take a look at these alternatives. A turbojet engines work like a turbofan engine, but it does not have a fan at the front. It starts by drawing air into the engine through an inlet. The air then goes into a compressor, which squeezes it to a higher pressure. Next, the compressed air enters the combustion chamber, where it mixes with the fuel and is ignited. This creates hot gases that expand quickly. These gases flow through turbines, which are connected to the compressor and help keep it running. Finally, the gases exit the engine at high speed. This fast flow generates thrust, pushing the aircraft forward. Turbojets excel in high-speed applications, such as fighter jets and supersonic aircraft, where raw speeds is crucial. However, they are less fuel efficient and noisier at lower speeds, limiting their use in commercial aviation. A turboprop engine is a type of jet engine that drives a propeller. In this design, most of the energy produced during combustion is directed to a turbine which drives a shaft connected to a large propeller. Unlike turbojets, which rely on fast exhaust to create thrust, turboprop engines use the propeller for propulsion. This design worked well for short flights at low altitudes, where high speeds aren't necessary. It also offered better fuel efficiency and more power compared to older piston engines. A ramjet is a special type of jet engine that has no moving parts. It compresses air without using a rotating compressor. Unlike typical jet engines, which use spinning blades to compress air, a ramjet depends on the speed of the aircraft to compress air. This engine only works when the aircraft is already flying at supersonic speeds. At high speeds, air rushes into the engine and is compressed by the engine's narrow shape. This method of compression makes ramjets different from other jet engines that use compressors. The engine is designed to slow the incoming air to subsonic speeds 
even when the aircraft is flying at supersonic speed. This slowing is essential for effective combustion as the air needs to be at subsonic speeds for the combustion process to work properly. After the air is compressed, it enters the combustion chamber. Here, it mixes with the fuel and ignites, creating high-speed exhaust gases that generate thrust. Ramjets work efficiently at supersonic speeds, often exceeding Mach 3. They are commonly found in missiles and experimental aircraft. However, because they do not have a compressor, they cannot produce enough thrust to take off an aircraft. Instead, they can provide extra power to aircraft that also have turbojet or turbofan engines. Once the aircraft reaches supersonic speed, the ramjet can take over. Scramjet engines are an advanced version of ramjet technology designed to work at very high speeds, known as hypersonic speeds. Like ramjets, scramjets have an inlet, combustion chamber, and nozzle. But they possess a unique capability to ignite fuel while maintaining supersonic airflow. As an aircraft flies quickly, the scramjet's inlet captures air and slows it down while ensuring it stays supersonic. In the combustion chamber, this high-pressure air mixes with fuel. When they ignite, the mixture expands rapidly, producing thrust. A key advantage of scramjets is that they can ignite fuel-air mixture at supersonic speeds. Special injectors help mix the fuel with incoming air efficiently, without needing much pre-compression like a traditional engine do. The hot gases then exits the back of the engine, pushing the aircraft forward. Despite their promise, scramjet face challenges. They operate at extremely high temperatures, which can damage their structure. Researchers are working on new materials and design to resist these conditions. Also, scramjet technology is still experimental, and there are many obstacles to overcome before they can become widely used.